today we're gonna go ahead and share with you guys my Hourglass Cosmetics haul as well as some other new products that I haven't used but recently purchased and share with you guys in my previous haul. I will be using all of those products within this video. And so the first thing I wanna share with you guys is the Hourglass Translucent Powder. I've already have one and I decided to purchase one more only because I feel like this powder right here is actually very, very butter smooth. Like when you apply it, it feels like it, your brush just glided right onto your skin. It is so smooth. I don't have to worry about my concealer creasing. I know that this powder will do its job. Palette palette. I believe this is the limited edition palette. I'm not too crazy about the highlights in here as any highlight will give you the same glow that this palette does. But just because I am a huge personally fan of the Hourglass Cosmetics is why I personally invested in this. This is their blush. It's called Diffused Heat which I am wearing it right now and it is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. This is what that looks like. Like the gloss that I'm wearing, um, it's a little bit on the sticky side, but the longer I'm wearing it, the stickiness is kind of going away. I don't feel that anymore. However, I am not a personally lip gloss person. The shade I have here is Unreal Dusk. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, the next product I want to share with you guys is the Hourglass Highlight Stick. I am just not a fan of the stick highlights. I have plenty of them and I just never reach for them. You probably have never seen me use them in my videos ever. And this right here is actually, I didn't purchase this. I actually did receive this one in my boxy charm, you guys. The Hourglass Foundation Stick. This is something I absolutely love. I already own two of them before even having this one. So that right there tells you that how much I love this. You guys, the shade I have here is the Sand and I absolutely love this. And because I've used this in my previous video, I decided not to include this in this video, but I did end up sharing it with you guys. The foundation I did use in this video is actually the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation by Hourglass Cosmetics. Love, love, love the packaging. It is not your typical rectangle packaging. I don't know if that makes any difference for anyone, but I absolutely like it. That is something different. Uh, the foundation uh, coverage is anywhere from medium to full coverage and I absolutely love using my brush for that. It glided down smoothly without giving me any kind of streaks or anything with the brush. Which, so I absolutely like it. My face is not cakey at all. It is very nicely blended, smooth, and it actually is very very comfortable upon wearing. The next product I use today is the Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light. This is something that I didn't own. I thought it was probably included in my old beat up uh, Ambient Lighting Palette, but this is the yellow shade. I think it really complements my skin tone, so I had really had fun using this one, you guys. And this one right here is my beat up, my very first Hourglass Cosmetics, anything, like any product. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette, and I absolutely love using this. Usually what I do is I mix all three shades together just to make sure that it is not too bright and then I would just dab it wherever I would highlight for that extra glow and that's what that looks like you guys. The last but not least the product I used was the bronzer and I really really worked hard, I seriously did, online to find the perfect bronzer that I wouldn't have to worry about returning it because it would have been too much because I did purchase all of these products from hourglasscosmetics.com instead of Sephora where you could walk in and return or exchange. So this one right here is the diffused bronze light. So I really love this. This right here is the neutral bronze so it doesn't have that red warmth color shades in it so right here really really complements my skin tone so I hope you guys are up for this full face glam right over here I am so thrilled and excited the way it turned out I am so excited about it I hope you guys are too so without further ado let's get right on to the video already and I use BH Cosmetics Brow Trio set to do them. I'm almost running out of it. I also have moisturized my face and primed it. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our foundation. So as you can see by the title that we'll be trying some of the new products and majority of them are from Hourglass Cosmetics. That is one of my bougiest cosmetics that I own. I love so much. I love the packaging. It is so so perfect. I will be trying the new foundation. The shade I purchased is Warm Beige. You guys I'm super excited about it. So this foundation right here has a little pump to it and today we're going to go ahead and skip mixing anything into our foundation. I'm going to go ahead and take that onto the Sigma Beauty uh, foundation brush. A very good coverage you guys. I think it's anywhere medium to full coverage by just looking at it already. You guys, I am about to start my work on Tuesday. 
after March 16 was the last day of work, so I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time. I'm really planning on keeping my YouTube going with my work and sometimes, you know, life and work can kind of take that away from me. But I'm really trying to organize and be healthy so I can actually do all three things. So you guys, this foundation is going very, very nicely onto my skin and it's blending out very beautifully with the foundation brush. Go ahead and pay more attention towards my mouth. So I didn't get a chance to purchase, well actually I had the chance, I just didn't choose to purchase it because budget is a very serious thing, you know. I'm going to go ahead and for that reason take my e.l.f. Cosmetics, this is the 16 hour camel concealer. Shade I have here is medium peach, I'm going to go ahead and go with that. To blend my concealer I have to take my beauty blender so I'm going to go ahead and give this a go. To set this, I am going to be using my Hourglass Translucent Powder. I already had one of these things and I am super in love with it. And it is so bougie to me. That I'm going to take Wet n Wild Cream Contour in Where's Walnut to contour my face today and actually always, I always use this if you are new to my channel, I always use this. I absolutely love this shade, this color, the warmth of this shade, like it's perfect for my face and my skin tone. I just placed another order at Ulta website and I was really needing some more of this contour stuff because I am running low on it. To lightly set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go ahead and take Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation powder by NYX Cosmetics shade I have here is Soft Beige. M527 is the brush I'm using by Morphe. Next new product I have from Hourglass is their bronzer. The shade I decided to go with is Diffused Bronze Light. And this is what that looks like. You guys, such a pretty shade. Absolutely love the packaging. And you guys can see that it's really looking and complementing my skin tone. So. If I'm not mistaken, this bronzer is also giving me a hint of glow in it. I'm really liking that. And I hate this brush, but I don't know why I still go for this. It's shedding as I'm blending this out. There you go. So for the contour, I'm going to go ahead and take the Profusion Contour Kit. And from this, I'm just going to go ahead and take the two lightest shade and mix them together and contour. To contour my nose, I'm going to go ahead and take Benefit Hula Bronzer. To brighten the under eyes, this, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lining Powder. The shade I have here is the Diffuse Light. Alright, so the first thing first, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone as well as the inner corner. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and take the Hourglass. This is their limited edition Ambient Absolute Strobe Light. I'm just going to go ahead and go with this shade right over here in the center and apply. Yeah, sure, shadow base, I'm going to go ahead and take my Allegra Pro Conceal Concealer. The shade I have here is Creamy Beige. Feel free to take the one you're comfortable with. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with that. Lately, I've been applying this a lot as my eyeshadow base, mainly because it has a little brush. To I'm going to go ahead and use my Kylie Cosmetics palette. First shade I'm going to be taking is Sweet Like Honey, which is a very nice neutral color. I'm going to start placing that into my crease. Again, today I have not set my eyeshadow base, you guys. I'm just going to go right on top of it. The first thing I like to do is just set it using the eyeshadow that is going to be my main crease color, which is this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set my eyeshadow base just applying that in a dabbing motion. I'm going to go ahead and start blending this out slowly but surely and bring it a little towards my nose. tad bit closer so you guys can see it properly. This color is absolutely gorgeous. It looks pretty on its own. In Rush, you can definitely do your falsies or mascara and be out the door. I'll tell you one more thing. This color is absolutely buildable, which is another thing I'm really liking it. So the more you pack, the more pigmented it looks. 
Now that my eyeshadow crease is there, I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my highlight and just make sure that it looks blended with the shadow. The second crease shade I'll be taking is called Honeymoon, which is this rich chocolate brown color. And I'm gonna go and take that onto a smaller blending brush so we can kind of keep it where we want to keep it, which is just below this shade and right into the depth of my crease. I do own the first, very first Kylie Cosmetics palette that she came out with. I believe it's called Kylie as well. Um, I don't think those shadows blended as beautifully as this one and I'm really digging this and that's probably why I waited this long to even like invest in one because the first one was a little bummer for me. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the shade called Royal Jelly which is one of the shades that I've really really purchased this palette because of. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. And the brush I'm using is actually one of the brushes that came into my BoxyCharm palette. This is the more synthetic one. You guys, this is such a pretty color. It is so pigmented and so happening on its own without the eyeshadow base. And we were able to create a awesome dramatic cut crease. I seriously want to like put some yellow on it, like this gold shade right over here. I really want to put that on top of it, see what. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this and apply that right on top of this, maybe in the center, and then see what happens. If I don't like it, I'll go back with the, some more of the Royal Jelly and just kind of pack on top of it. Oh gosh, it looks very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this brush with Fix Buzz. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I'm gonna go back with the Royal Honey or Royal Jelly. Just pack and start blending the outer edges. For the bottom lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Busy Bee onto a shading brush. With this very same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the shade called Honeymoon again. Apply that onto the outer corner of my eyes. To blend the outer edges, I'm gonna take the Sweet Light Honey shade onto that and just blend the outer edges. To give it more pop, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Kit Von D palette and from this, I will be taking the Blue Sapphire shade. With the waterline, I'm going to go ahead and take my Cargo Cosmetics Eyeliner. This is in black. Feel free to take any black pencil of your choice and apply that. I'm going to go ahead and take the bronzed palette and only because it has the matte black shade. So feel free to take any matte black shade of your choice. Flat Diviner Shading Brush. Taking a dance brush like this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go back with the Honeymoon shade. I'm gonna blend out this black. For the lips, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Nutmeg by NYX Cosmetics. I had to think there for a second. You guys, this right here is my favorite lipstick by New Sticks, shade called Greystone. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. For the blush, you guys, I seriously did not pay attention and I ended up ordering the travel size. I am so bummed about it as the sales has ended too. So I'm gonna have to just work with this one today and maybe wait for next time when the sale is happening, maybe Sephora and get it in the full size. But this right here is their diffused heat blush and this is what that looks like. Another product I'll be trying out for the first time is Hourglass Cosmetics, the lip gloss in Unreal Dusk. It smells more minty side. I have two highlight options. I have the Champagne Stick, which is from Hourglass Cosmetics, but I have actually got this in my boxy charm. And this is what that looks like, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and dab it just a little bit, see how I like it. I really don't tend to go for the cream sticks highlights on top of my, you know, powders, but this is first time, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it on my finger and just dab that. Okay. I am very scared at this point.
right, I really don't care with the brush, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it like this. Yes, I absolutely like it with the finger more than the brush or the stick itself. I'm just not a you know cream highlight girl, especially on top of the foundation and products that I've already got going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in with this, and I'll be going in with the first two shades. Holy smokes, that is so bright. Alright you guys, so this right here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really loved using all of my new products. I am kind of getting used to this lip gloss, but I still feel like it is more on the sticky side for my taste. But with that said, everything else turned out so good. I also enjoyed my Kylie Jenner's cosmetics. I absolutely love the eyeshadows. And I think this look right here is really speaking Hawaii or something for me. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And other than that, I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.